Hey guys, KCTB Gaming here today, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Xbox 360 remote to your PC and use it in game. Now, I know this is a little irrelevant to the usual videos I do, but um, I, as you guys know, Xbox One is coming out, and I don't think we're going to be able to use these controllers. So this is a way where you can kind of make do with your old controller. So yeah, um, um, that's basically it. So how about we get into it? So first of all, you're going to need a wired, like I said, wired Xbox. Xbox 360 controller and you know just a regular one this is my old white one so you know it's kind of dirty or whatever but this is my old white one make sure on the end it's connected via USB now that's not really a problem most are so first thing you're going to do is actually on your computer you're going to go to Google and type in Microsoft hardware or just click the link in the description now the reason I'm showing you this step is so you know anybody who wants to you know do it themselves can do it like that so you're going to see Microsoft you know hardware site and you're going to see download and gaming underneath it so I'm gonna go ahead and click on downloads to show you guys you know um you know it, how to get there you can kind of step by step so if you came in on the home page it is as you can see the third tab over and just click downloads alright now you can see gaming now once you click on gaming there is a Microsoft Xbox 360 controller and the wireless controller you're gonna want to click on Xbox 360 controller and this is just the regular one and when you click on it you are you will be able to see the picture and the, the controller is wired now as you can see I am running Windows 8 so I'm gonna show you here that I all I did was install Windows 764 bit. Now I have a 64 bit computer. If you have a 32 bit Windows 8 computer, you're going to want to install Windows 7 32 bit. So anyway, go ahead and install your software. Windows 8 users install Windows 7 works just as good. So yeah. So that's basically it, and as you can tell, you know, you just, there's going to be a little link. You just click on it, and it will start your download. After you're done with your download, make sure you connect your your 360 controller to your PC, and then after you do that, it's going to light up. As you can see, the first player light on the controller is on. But once you connect it, it's not going to do anything. As you can see here in the video, once I was clicking the buttons, it was not doing anything on my PC. But so what you're going to have to do is load it up in a game go to settings and and map the controls it's fairly easy for most games you can see I was doing it in Halo here and it worked just fine so anyway, guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope the video was helpful for you if it wasn't I'm sorry but I mean I am gonna start gaming videos just back next week Wednesday check it out okay that's gonna be my first gaming video back on you know the spotlight the mic whatever anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video I hope it was helpful but um yeah see you guys later and well bye